what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. I am super, super excited about this because I'm either gonna make this thing look cool or I might just fuck it up. Today we're gonna paint my Memphis Cheese Road Warrior. Um, I don't have a spray gun or anything like that, but I do got a can of plastic dip and then plastic dip also makes it shine for it. So if you're not familiar with plastic dip, I used to play around with plastic dip a lot when I used to be into cars a lot and I used to paint my rims. So this is um, a multi-purpose rubber coating for basically any type of materials. A lot of people use them for cars, obviously. Um, instead of spending like $4,000 on a wrap, people sometimes tend to do this. Um, and I have seen a lot of people use them on bikes as well. So they do come in different colors, red, blue, and white, and black, and other colors, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the first coat we're gonna put on, and like I said, we're gonna put the shine on after, and we're gonna see how it turns out. Now, the best thing about Plastic Dip, and real quick, this this is not sponsored by Plastic Dip at all. I'm just like real hyped about this today. Um, the real cool thing about that is because it, it becomes like a rubber material, so after it dries up and everything, and if you want to get rid of the color, you can literally just peel it off. And it's a strong rubber material, but that protects it and everything. But you can literally just peel it off whenever you want change colors um, and that's it so I really don't want to do this job in the garage so we're gonna take this over to um, my basement all right so I already went ahead and I wiped all the dust off of it I'm just gonna give this can a little shake and we're gonna start spraying um, this stuff does dry up pretty easy pretty fast so yeah now the good thing about this is that it also dries in 30 minutes so we'll give it the first coat we'll see how it looks after that and if anything we'll just give it another coat and then after that, we'll apply the uh, the gloss shine to it. So we're gonna go apply the uh, second coat now. It's been 30 minutes and we'll start.
another beautiful day out here in Jer Jersey. Beautiful, beautiful weather today. It is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all my fellow riders who are fathers. Um, high of 92 degrees today. Blue skies, clear skies. Can I ask for anything better, baby? Now, we're on the diner. You saw how this thing looks already. We'll pull over real quick and give you guys some more close-up shots and um, go over the whole process of how I painted this myself. A little DIY project you could do at home for 20 bucks. That's all it's gonna cost you. I mean, if you have the fairing already. If you don't, then you gotta buy the fairing. Um, let me see if we have to pull over somewhere. There's a cool little spot here. Japanese steakhouse. Okay. So, the fairing came out pretty good. Uh, in photos, it looks amazing. People thought that it was like, well, my friends, the one that I texted to. Uh, they thought that, uh, they were like, whoa, like, it came out great. Some people told me uh, it looked professional. But, I mean, in person, there's some little imperfections just because I let the, um, the gloss paint drip a little bit too much right here. Um, so let's just get into everything because I had a little, little um, issue with the camera, some technical difficulties, so I couldn't get the gloss on tape. On, ta on tape, I sound so old saying that I couldn't get it on tape, I couldn't get it on film. Um, but yeah, I applied four coats of the white plastic dip, four to five coats, um, and then after that, I added four coats of the gloss on top of it. So, yes, I had to buy two cans, they're like eight dollars a bottle, a can, or ten dollars a can, something like that. You're only gonna spend like 20 bucks. So, you apply the white paint first then you let that dry then you apply the gloss paint while well, the gloss uh on top of it um and i could have got this a bit more shimmery i just I, mean, I thought it looked okay i could still take it off and add more to it but for now i'm just gonna rock out with it um the thing with plastic dip is that it's like a it's a matte color and it's from it could look very grainy when not done properly um uh, but the, the gloss helps that out a lot it helps smooth everything out um, and from a distance, like if we take a, a few steps back, you would think that it was professionally done. Even from like two feet away, professionally done, a foot away. Once you're like a foot in, then I could see my little imperfections. If it wasn't for that, it was still uh, a little great. Um, I think I might peel off the paint off the, um, the tabs right here. So the black can pop out. I don't know, it might add a little character to the fairing. But I mean, overall, it's a, it's a little DIY project that you can do at home for 20 bucks. And if you don't like it, you can take it off. It's the best thing about plastic dip is that, is that you can just peel this paint off. It's great. And tomorrow, if I want to paint it red, I'll paint it red or gold or black or blue. Whatever color I want, they, they have a lot of colors for plastic dip. And you can get it at any um, auto parts store. I got it at my nearest, nearest um, what is it, AutoZone. Uh, but you can get it at almost any auto parts store. They sell them everywhere. Uh, big change man. It's a huge huge difference to how this bike looked before than What it does now even with the Harley um, tall shield that I have um, You know that shield is great. It looks awesome, but I mean Memphis Shades Road Warrior painted now like it's it's awesome Yo, shout out to Memphis Shades because Memphis Shades also does sponsor the channel. So huge shout out to them um, good quality stuff I've had my other uh, Road Warrior on my Lowrider S for over a year already. No issues with that thing. I did make a video just on that uh, year ownership of the Road Warrior and everything else. So if you want to see that, just scroll down to the videos. Um, it was like from a week ago. A um, little walk around of the bike. We got the TBR, stainless steel, turnout. Amazing. I love that pipe. I like this pipe more. Than the black one on my low rider s just because of design and the special little touches and how it turns blue and reddish and oranges when it gets warm and hot super cool leather pro bags i love these things amazing um yeah i'm i'm gonna go over all the stuff that i have on this bike and what i plan to do it just like i did with the low rider s because there's still a ton of ton of things that i want to do to this dyno um yo she also huge shout out to san jose customs we got the matching shift linkage right here um with the shifter pack as well so blue accents here and there let's put this up um 
yeah man what, what do you guys think um like i said in photos it looks amazing up close because i could tell my own little imperfections i could tell about the drip but it's something that if i wanted to do it over i could just do it over and it will be a uh, easy fix because i'm not the best spray painter this is why i never took up graffiti <laughs> um but yeah it looks great drop your thoughts down below let me know if you're if you want to try something like this real simple guys it just it, it'll take you a day just to like you know add the the coat on and everything let the whole thing dry let's uh hop on this girl and keep riding oh dino soon um and like i said tons of other stuff that's gonna be it happy father's day once again i'm gonna get you in the next one like always guys let the force be with you ride safe enjoy the ride baby Peace.